hello friends. I am so nervous and I am so excited because I'm going to go meet Neil Schusterman. <laughs> uh, he has a book signing today in Pasadena, which is about 25 minutes away from where I live right now. I'm going alone, which is nerve wracking, but I'm gonna go early so that I can find some parking. I have to buy gleanings and then sit down and hear him talk about it. So I'm super excited. I'm so nervous. The first time I'm ever going to a book signing and doing it on my own is very like not something I would do. So it's very out of my comfort zone, but I am so excited to meet one of my favorite authors of one of my favorite series and it should be a good time so come along <laughs> Okay, so I just got to Pasadena. I just parked. It's 1.30. The event starts at 2. The bookstore is literally just across the street, but I'm so nervous. I just watched my Ark of a Scythe series wrap-up review thing that I did like a year and a half ago, maybe. I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know why. I think it's just because like I've never gone to an event like this alone before, and I'm so giddy and I'm so excited. So, so let's go. <laughs> experience. Here I am with my signed copy of Gleanings by Neil Schusterman. And then on the inside here, his son and daughter-in-law, Jared and Sophia, who also co-authored this book along with a couple of other projects like Dry, uh, were also at the signing, which was super, super cool. Neil came out with his son, Jared, and Jared's wife, Sophia. They just started going over what it was like creating gleaning. So this first opening prose was actually written by Neil's daughter, Joelle. It's called The First Swing, and it really kind of sets the tone for the stories that are gonna come in Gleanings. Then we got to hear from Jared directly and Jared read from the story that him and Sophie wrote. And it was just such a cool experience being in their presence. They opened it for questions pretty early on. I thought there was gonna be just like a little bit more conversation about the book, but also not everybody there had read the Ark of a Scythe series. And so it was really interesting to see how Neil and his son kind of directed the conversation when it came to understanding Gleanings. I just have such a great appreciation for how smart Neil Schusterman is. And obviously it runs in the family because his son is just as intelligent and unique and incredible. I actually got the chance to ask him a question and I asked, what was it like creating a character like the Thunderhead? You know, playing with your psyche and kind of playing with your own psychology and trying to figure out how to create this character, this overarching thing. I obviously didn't say it as eloquently as that because the second I started speaking, my nerves kind of took over and that doesn't normally happen for me. Like I'm a trained public speaker. I know how to speak to people, but I think it was just being in the presence of one of my favorite authors and being there kind of alone in this crowd of people was, was the thing that did it for me. Obviously a lot of the book is paralleling our universe and so Neil was very adamant about saying that you know he did take a lot of inspiration from real life yeah it was just a really great experience they also gave some of their writing tips some of their tips for aspiring writers authors what that process is like Sophie made a really good point about saying that your agent is there to fight for you. Obviously there is a whole lot of nuances that come with that and social media was actually one that Jared was really pushing and saying that this generation loves social media and quite frankly, it makes you more human for them to be able to see who you are if they can't make it out to an event. Overall, I had such a blast. When I came up to Sophie, Jared, and Neil, you know, I told Jared and Sophie that I was there by myself, but it was my first book signing and just everybody was so nice. And Jared was like, yeah, anytime you're at a Y signing, like you're gonna have a blast. Everybody's so sweet, which, is exactly what happened. And the second I came up to Neil, I was like, hi. <laughs> like I couldn't, I couldn't formulate sentences. I did have a chance to tell him just how much of a fan I was and how much I appreciate the books and how much I love them. And particularly, I wanted to make sure that he knew I loved the line and I said this in my book review. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I told him it's like the line where the Thunderhead is kind of speaking its internal monologue along the lines of, I know everything and yet I know nothing at all. And that line just really, it spoke with me. It's been a line that I've carried for quite some time. Doesn't really play any sort of significance in terms of like, oh, it impacted me emotionally, but it was just such a well-written line and I wanted to make sure that he knew that. So I got to tell him that. And as you can see, it says to Melanie and Joy Neil Schuster 
Benjamin. And then like I said, Jared and Sophie also signed their chapter. And what was really cool was they're also promoting their new book Retro and they're doing a signing in January in LA at Starlight Books, I believe. So who knows, I might go check this out because the way Jared was describing it, it was like a YA Riverdale with a Hispanic main character and it's a thriller, but it's supposed to be fun. And it has like a full playlist Oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing. It has a full playlist that the book is coming with. So they definitely knew what they were doing and how they were selling it. But I'm just really excited to have Gleanings in my hand and have it be my first personalized signed copy ever. So it was a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed the experience. I know I obviously didn't film too, too much while they were actually speaking. Obviously because I want to be in the moment, I wanted to be present, but it was such a good time and Neil is just so smart. Like he is just such a smart man. So it was an absolute dream. And I'm so happy that I decided to take the plunge and go. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I'll catch you next time.